the Pulsar project is believed to be the personal notes and scientific diary of a scientist who was contracted by the government over several years to visit all crash sites, interrogate captured alien life forms and analyze all data gathered from that endeavor. Personal notes and the diary of a scientist have been found. It is believed that the unnamed scientist has been employed by the government to study crash sites and recovered equipment, interrogate and establish communication with surviving extraterrestrial biological entities and analyze all data collected. His work for the government covered a 33-year period, a time during which the scientist discovered the information that would have derailed an unprepared mind. By 1990, it had been able to gather information on more than 160 species of extraterrestrial life forms, confirming once again our belief that the universe is full of intelligent life. He also found several documents related to the subject, and fortunately for us, the scientist also kept personal notes of his work experience. By the way, it was the habit of keeping a personal journal that put you in trouble with your employer. It was discovered that this individual had kept and kept such personal notes and therefore was scheduled for completion, states the document. It narrowly escaped termination by the government and is currently in hiding this country. His notes are an amalgam of controversial topics ranging from secret pharmacology and the use of various synthetic drugs and hormones in humans to details on genetics and extraterrestrial languages. The document details how various species of extraterrestrials possess the ability to control their environment and even manipulate and reorganize matter through thought. Using various substances developed with the help of extraterrestrials, government agencies have managed to recreate these effects in humans, albeit on a much smaller scale. A different part of the scientist's notes brushes the surface of alien propulsion systems, giving several examples along the way. One is the impulse propulsion engine that drives the basic UFOs of the grey aliens. Apparently, this drive system works by channeling superheated plasma through a system of space-time conductive coils and thus creating a limited distortion of the space-time continuum. These smaller artifacts can accelerate to almost the speed of light in a matter of seconds, but are only useful for interplanetary travel within a solar system. Interstellar travel is another matter and requires speeds much greater than the speed of light. As such, the document claims, alien spacecraft are powered by a different set called the multi-speed geared motor. This incredibly advanced engine allows interstellar cruisers to evade the known laws of physics and traverse space and time at more than 32,000 times the speed of light. In an emergency, this speed can be doubled. This catastrophically fast propulsion system is powered by a magnum crystal assembly that creates and controls antimatter collisions, creating successive space-time bubbles in front of the ship. The next image shows a creature the scientist calls SQH, a lower-level servant with the intelligence needed to carry out the orders but not able to take advantage of any thoughts of his own. The following picture shows Tahe, a mutating clone whose purpose is to complete various forms of investigation. The scientists' data show that grey aliens prefer to employ biological creatures, while the Nordic and orange aliens prefer the humanoid synthetic form, high-tech inorganic servers that inexorably make the orders of their masters. In the document, the missing scientist refers to several secret government projects, including the infamous MK Ultra. The scientists' notes cite the applications we have known for a long time, the main objective of the project was to develop and improve methods of mind control through various means. The biggest success they have had was when they got the help of the aliens to overcome the natural barriers of the human mind. So, another interesting topic in the scientists' notes was the idea of a takeover by hostile extraterrestrials. He rejects this scenario, claiming that advanced aliens could have done that long ago if they wanted to. If the intelligent aliens have been observing, and to some extent interacting with the Earth for centuries, why delay a hostile occupation? The rather marked increase in UFO and extraterrestrial activities, coinciding with the dawn of the mid-human nuclear age of the 1940s, would indicate a genuine concern for hostile human capabilities, the statement said. In the end, we have no guarantee that this document is authentic. Since the scientist has no name, we cannot look for it and verify its credibility. On the other hand, 
a researcher who works for the government on such sensitive issues would probably be erased from any record. While the veracity of the document's claims is under discussion, the situation it explores is real, people are worried that their leaders will do business with aliens and are secretly studying alien technology, while humanity does not receive any benefit from these agreements.